Greetings from Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut. I'm Dr. Lee Rubin, and I'm excited to present on behalf of our team regarding anatomic navigation for acetabular component positioning in direct anterior approach total hip arthroplasty. We have access to the anterior and posterior rim, access to the cotyloid fossa and the medial wall, and here we're demonstrating preservation and identification of the transverse acetabular ligament. As we transition to demonstrate this in a bony model, we begin with the lateral retractor, and our second retractor is of the posterior cotyledon. The next retractor is placed over the anterior cotyledon and the anterior brim of the pelvis, and if needed, sometimes we add this retractor here medially around the obturator foramen, deep to the TAL to protect and preserve it. A double-footed retractor can sometimes be helpful inferiorly to move the femoral shaft out of the way once the femoral neck cut is completed. Our older configuration used fewer retractors. This involved the posterior lateral retractor, an anterior brim retractor, and that was the extent of the exposure needed initially. The addition of these extra medial retractors around the posterior and anterior cotyledons allows us to get retraction and demonstrate the TAL throughout the reaming and preparation process. At every stage, we insert the reamer and move the medial side of the reamer inside the TAL to preserve it. You can see here, this is demonstrating initially two lateral, as shown here, and then we move the reamer into a more neutral anatomic position medial to the TAL, which is the correct position. In doing so, the lateral acetabular rim becomes exposed and the reamer falls just below it, indicating a proper abduction view. In a similar manner, we can move in version anteriorly and posteriorly so that the reamer aligns itself with the transverse ligament to recreate the antiversion angle. For each reamer step, we utilize this technique to preserve the ligament and maintain our neutral anatomic position as we prepare the case. Here it's demonstrated as a 45 degree angle. 